Hey, what's going on guys? Rage Train here and welcome back to another High Pixel Skyblock video guys. Once again, just want to say you guys have been continuing to kill the support on the last couple videos. So thank you guys so so very much for that. Um, it really does mean the world to me, so uh, hopefully we can keep that going. But yeah, in today's episode, we are going to be going over how you can get every single talisman in High Pixel Skyblock, and hopefully I'll also be able to give you guys some tips on some of the harder ones to obtain. But before I get into that, guys, I just want to quickly say I have now started streaming here on YouTube. Um, I plan on streaming at least every other day, maybe even every day if I can get around to it. And I am planning on doing maybe a little bit of a short stream tonight after this video goes live. So just make sure you either turn on notifications so you can see when that live stream goes up or just keep an eye on my channel. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first talisman. So I'm going to be going through the collections in the order that they are placed in in the GUI here. So starting us off is going to be the farming talisman, which is unlocked in the wheat four collection, which is unlocked after you have obtained 500 wheat. This talisman increases your speed by 10% while held in the farm, barn, or mushroom desert. This one is super, super easy to craft as well. It's just four seeds and five hay bales, which a hay bale is just nine wheat. So if you're looking to obtain this one, the best way is just going to be coming to the barn area over here and just farming all the wheat that these robot things will spawn in continuously. The next talisman is the vaccine talisman, which is unlocked after you have reached 500 potatoes in your collection. This one takes nine poisonous potatoes in order to craft. Poisonous potatoes can be obtained by farming regular potatoes. It's just kind of like a rare drop, which the potatoes can be found in the barn area as well on like the first little level here behind the uh, actual barn itself. The next talisman is the speed talisman which is unlocked after you have 250 sugarcane in your collection this one gives you plus three speed when hell this is another one that's very easy to craft it's just 108 sugarcane there's also planned to be upgraded versions of this talisman um the speed ring and the speed artifact but those are both currently um under the coming soon category and sugarcane can be found at the mushroom desert area that is located after the barn the next talisman is the feather talisman which is unlocked after you have 1000 feathers in your collection this talisman just increases how high you can fall before taking fall damage by five blocks. Another one that's very easy to craft as well, it takes 108 feathers. But now if you're looking to unlock um, this talisman, you can kill chickens here at the barn area. They will spawn um, kind of over to the side here and also in the barn itself. But getting all 1,000 feathers for the collection by just running back and forth here by killing chickens is probably gonna take you a while. So you're probably going to want to set up a chicken minion, which is unlocked by getting your raw chicken collection to 50 um, if you're planning on trying to unlock the feather talisman. Now there are also two upgraded versions of the Feather Talisman, the Feather Ring, which is unlocked at 10,000 feathers in your collection. This one allows you to fall an additional seven blocks before taking fall damage and also reduces your fall damage by 5%. And then there's also the Feather Artifact unlocked at 50,000 feathers in your collection, which allows you to fall an additional 10 blocks before taking any fall damage and reduces your overall fall damage by 15%. Now both of these talismans are actually a bit more on the expensive side. Um, the Feather Ring requires eight enchanted feathers to craft and the feather artifact requires two stacks of enchanted feathers to craft. So if you're planning on going for either of those, you're definitely going to want to be setting up a um, chicken minion farm on your island in order to grind for those. The next talisman here is the potion affinity talisman, which increases the duration of potions you drink by 10%. This one is unlocked once you have 250 nether wart in your collection and takes um, 128 nether wart to craft. Now nether wart can be found here at the blazing fortress that I'm at right now in some of the rooms, um, if I can get past these wither skeletons here. So looks like someone just recently cleared this out, but nether wart will spawn on the soul sand here, as you can see, because um, these little robot guys up here keep uh, spawning it in. There are also upgraded versions of this talisman. There is the potion affinity ring, which is unlocked at 10,000 nether wart in your collection, which will increase the duration of your potions by 25%. And there's also the potion artifact unlocked at 50,000 nether wart in your collection, but this one will increase the duration of your consumed potions by 50% when held in your inventory. This one is quite expensive to craft though, costing eight stacks of enchanted nether wart. So another one where if you're looking to get that one you're either going to want to set up a pretty big um, nether wart minion farm on your island or you may just want to buy it off the auction house they usually go for a couple hundred thousand coins now the last of the farming talismans that is currently released is the night vision charm unlocked once you have 10,000 mushrooms in your collection. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It just grants you night vision and it is crafted with four enchanted brown mushrooms and four enchanted red mushrooms and mushrooms can be obtained obviously at the mushroom desert. Now there is also the luck talisman that is unlocked once you get 25,000 raw rabbit in your collection, but that one I obviously can't talk about because it's currently coming soon. Moving on to the mining collection. Um, once you have 40,000 cobblestone in your collection, you will unlock the ability to craft the haste ring, which gives you haste one for 15 seconds when breaking any block. This is a bit of a 
pricey one as well though, um, costing you four stacks of enchanted cobblestone to craft. And obviously you can obtain cobblestone um, from any of the mining areas of the server. The next talisman is the talisman of coins unlocked after you have 100 emerald in your collection. This talisman um, will just randomly spawn coins around you while you're on public islands. And it costs 20 emeralds and five gold ingots to craft. And the place to get emeralds is in the slime hill portion of the deep caverns mine. Now the next talisman is actually also located under the emerald collection. It is unlocked once you get 250 emeralds in your collection. It is the magnetic talisman, which if you do not have the telekinesis enchant on your tools or weapons or anything, it is a very, very useful talisman to have because this one will increase your item pickup range by three times. And it is crafted with two stacks of emeralds and half a stack of redstone. The next talisman is unlocked once you have a whopping 150,000 lapis lazuli in your collection, um, which is the experience artifact, which will increase the enchanting experience you gain by 25%. And this is one of actually the few epic talismans on the server. So this one is highly, highly sought after. It is also very expensive to craft though, requiring nine enchanted lapis blocks. And each enchanted lapis block is 160 enchanted lapis and each enchanted lapis is 160 regular lapis so lapis can be obtained in the lapis quarry section of the deep caverns mine but this is definitely another one where if you're looking to get it you're either going to want to set up a huge lapis minion farm on your island or consider buying it off the AH. From what I've seen, they usually go for around six to 800,000 coins. The next talisman is unlocked once you reach 250 obsidian in your collection, and it is the gravity talisman. This one will actually um, give you increased strength and defense as you get closer to the center of an island. And this one allows us to get back to some cheaper crafting recipes, only requiring 144 obsidian to craft. Now there is currently planned to be one other um, talisman in the mining collection. That is the compass talisman unlocked after you hit 3000 redstone in your collection. But once again, this one is currently listed under coming soon so i can't really talk about it oh i did forget to mention for the gravity talisman if you're looking to get obsidian you can either get you can get obsidian in either the end or in the obsidian sanctuary portion of the deep caverns now moving on to the combat collection there are actually only two talismans in this collection the first one being the fire talisman which is unlocked after you get 2.5 thousand blaze rods in your collection this one's pretty self-explanatory it just provides you immunity to fire while held in your inventory which is actually a very very nice buff i definitely recommend if you guys aren't going to go for all talismans and are only going to go for a couple I would highly recommend going after this one. And it is crafted with nine enchanted blaze powder and each enchanted blaze powder is 160 blaze rods. Obviously blazes can be found in the blazing fortress section of the map. And if you just run across the initial walkway there and come up to the very, very top, you will find a couple blazes up here. But if you're gonna actually grind for this thing, you're probably going to want to set up blaze minions on your island because um, the blaze spawn rates are pretty low here. So it would take you a while to one, get your blaze collection at two and a half thousand and two for you to actually save up enough blaze rods to um, craft the fire talisman. Then the only other talisman unlocked in the combat collections is the lava talisman, which you unlock after 10,000 magma cream is in your collection. Another one that's pretty self-explanatory, it just provides you immunity to lava. Pretty similar crafting recipe to the um, fire talisman. It's just nine enchanted magma cream, and each of those require 160 regular magma cream. But if you're gonna be grinding for this lava talisman, I would probably recommend also setting up a small magma cube farm on your island at least as well, because getting to 10,000 magma cream in your collection, if you're only grinding magma cubes at the blazing fortress, might take a little while. Moving on to the foraging collection, there's actually only one talisman in this collection, and it's unlocked after you get 10,000 oak wood in your collection. This one increases your speed by 10% while held in the forest, graveyard, and wilderness. This one's actually pretty easy to craft. It only takes one enchanted oak wood, which is 160 regular oak wood, and then um, eight oak leaves surrounding it which this might not seem like a useful talisman to have, but since it does have the uncommon rarity, which means that it can be really good for reforges because the higher the rarity tier of the talisman, the better the stat boost it'll give you. As you can see, I have two itchy talismans here, but one is a common and one is an uncommon. And if I just go back and forth between the two here, you can see even though the, the stat boost differential here is kind of like minimal, it definitely will add up over time if you get yourself enough of the uh, higher rarity um, talismans. Moving on to the fishing collection, the first talisman you can unlock under here is the healing talisman, which you get after you have uh, 100 lily pads in your collection. This one simply increases healing by 5% and it is crafted with 144 lily pads. The next talisman is the bait ring, which is unlocked once you reach two and a half thousand ink sacks in your collection. And this one gives you a 5% chance not to consume bait. Now this one is probably one that you'd want to just buy off the auction house because the crafting recipe for it is ridiculously expensive. It costs four and a half stacks of enchanted ink sacks to craft and each enchanted ink sack is 80 ink sacks, which that works out to 46,000 regular ink sacks to craft the bait ring. And even though I've only done a little bit of fish on this server, I can tell you ink sacks are not the most common drop 
So the bait ring is a pretty expensive one to craft. So if you're looking to get it, you're probably just better off saving up a couple hundred thousand coins and buying it off the auction house. Now the last talisman for the fishing collection is the sea creature talisman, which is unlocked after you get 200 sponges in your collection. This one will allow you to take 5% less damage from sea creatures and it's crafted using 18 regular sponges. There are actually two upgrades available for this talisman. There is first the sea creature ring, which you get after 800 sponges are in your collection. And this allows you to take 10% less damage from sea creatures. And then there's also the sea creature artifact, which you get at two and a half thousand sponge. And this lets you take 15% less damage from sea creatures. Now, once again, even if you're not farming fishing on the server, and you don't really care about the damage you take from sea creatures, these talismans can still be useful since they have these higher rarities, which will allow you to get better stat boosts from the reforges. Even though those are all the talismans available in the collections, those are still not all the talismans. The adventurer um, here right at the hub has six talismans you can get from them. There's the zombie talisman, which reduces damage taken from zombies by 5%. The skeleton talisman, which reduces the damage taken from skeletons by 5%. The village affinity talisman, which increases your speed by 10% while held in the village. Mine affinity talisman, increases your speed by 10% when held in any of the mines. Intimidation Talisman, so level one monsters won't target you anymore. This one's really useful if you have any sort of monster um, minion farm set up on your island because the monsters it spawns are all level one. And the scavenger talisman, which would make monsters drop one extra coin per level, which makes this one super useful as well. Because for example, if you're fighting Endermen in the end and they're like level 50, each of them will drop an extra 50 coins with this talisman. Now, other than the intimidation and scavenger one, these four probably aren't really super, super useful. But if you're going for some stat boosts, they are nice to have um, just because you don't have to do any grinding for them. You can just buy them for a pretty cheap amount of coins. Then there are still four more talismans. Talismans. Um, the first of those being the bat talisman. That one you can either buy at the auction house. They usually sell for around 50 to 70,000 coins. Or you can get your dark oak wood collection to 5,000 coins and get the roofed forest island recipe. And I believe if you spawn this roofed forest on your island, um, it will spawn bats that you can kill and possibly get the talismans from. Oh, and the bat talisman, I can show you guys right here because I actually have this one. It gives you plus one health, plus one percent speed, and plus one intelligence. Next is the spider talisman. Um, this one can be obtained by killing killing the broodmother boss that spawns at the um, spider's den that I'm here at right now. I actually have not spent too much time at the spider's den, so I'm not 100% sure where the broodmother actually spawns, but I think I've read somewhere before that it typically spawns at like the higher areas of the spider's den. Now I actually do not have this talisman yet, so I'll have to head over to the auction house to show you guys what buffs it gives you. So this one simply reduces the damage taken from spiders, cave spiders, and silverfish by 5%, but this one, once again, is an uncommon talisman, so you can get some pretty nice reforge um, stat boosts from it. And I'm actually going to stick on the auction house for these last two because I do not have either of these talismans. You can see here there is the fish affinity talisman which gives you 5% faster catch time. This one can be obtained as a drop from the water hydra boss um, sea creature that you may occasionally fish up while you're fishing. And the final talisman and also probably the most rare and expensive one. This one is obtained from the dark auction which I believe spawns once every hour in the forest. This is of course the Ender Artifact, which reduces the damage you take from Endermen, Ender Dragons, and Endermites by 20%. But this is also one of only two epic talismans that are currently on the server, the other one being the previously mentioned um, Experience Artifact. This one though is obviously pricey. If you get lucky in the Dark Auction and no one else is really bidding on it, you could maybe get it for cheap. But if you're gonna try and pick it up in the regular auction house, it's gonna run you anywhere between one to two million coins. One last tip that I'll go ahead and throw into this video is how to reforge talismans. Now, I think most people do know this, but just in case you're completely new to the server, you're gonna head over to the blacksmith who can be found in front of the coal mines in the hub. And you just put your talisman into his little inventory here and click the reforge button. Depending on the rarity of the talisman, it'll cost like an increasing amount of coins, but then you can just keep reforging it until you get the uh, actual buff you want. Oh, and one other thing I guess I should mention it is kind of important is you do not have to hold all of your talismans in your inventory. There's also a talisman bag that you can put them into. Now, if you're just starting off, your talisman bag is probably going to be extremely small, but you can increase the size of your talisman by adding to your redstone collection. The small talisman bag upgrade is unlocked at 250 redstone. The medium is unlocked at 10,000 redstone. The large upgrade, which is the one I currently have, is unlocked at 50,000 redstone. And then the greater talisman bag upgrade, which I'm currently a long, long ways away from, but I'm hoping to start working towards soon, is unlocked at 200,000 and redstone in your collection. So yeah, I think that should now cover everything you would need to know about talismans. But guys, be sure to let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed or if there's anything you still have questions about and I will do my best to answer all of those. Also, I did get the vast majority of this information from a talisman guide post on the forum. So I will be linking that post 
in the top line of the description of this video. But yeah guys, I think that should about do it for this video. Once again, hopefully you did enjoy, hopefully you did learn something. If you did, um, make sure to drop a like on this video. It is much, much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And yeah, I'm really enjoying coming up the side pixel skyblock videos. I'm glad to see that you guys have been liking them so far. So hopefully you guys will keep up the support on these videos and I can in return keep up the frequency of these videos. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys and I will hopefully see you in that live stream later tonight. So yeah, see you guys then. Peace.